born in Russell, where, and where do you come from? I come from Newgrange in County Mead. So not too far away today? From no, yeah, just down the road, not too far. Can you tell us a bit about what you're doing? Well, what I'm doing is I'm working with willow, and uh, it's, it's all willow that I've grown myself uh, in Newgrange in County Mead, and uh, I grow, let's say, about an acre of willow, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just making a, the handle of a basket here. That's what I do. Like I'm a basket maker, willow designer. I've got a structure here behind me, and I've just got a, a range of baskets in front of me. So I'm just basically doing a bit of weaving, willow weaving. Willow is the, you know, willow is the material I'm using. Is it the most supple of all the of all of the uh, the, 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 the the local trees, local grown? Yeah, I think so. Pretty much, it would be. You know what I mean? You can use a bit of hazel too. It wouldn't be as flexible or as supple. But uh, I think willow, ha- yeah, has been for, known for thousands of years and been used for thousands of years. Uh, it just is it's the most flexible. You know, there is other materials you could use that might be just as flexible, but then they wouldn't be as strong. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, it's a good one anyway, definitely, and commonly used. And do you have to dry it, or do, does it? Does it? Do you just as it comes? Well, no. After you cut it, let's say you could walk with it, but you would make a basket, and it would be fine on the day. But then, as the willow seasons and loosens, you know, each piece dries a little bit, so the whole basket would become loose. So the best thing is you have to leave it to season for at least two months, six weeks to two months, and then it's dried out and it's flexible enough to still walk with. Although it is dry, it's still flexible enough to weave with, and when you weave something, it, you know, it, won't, uh, it won't change shape. And then, let's say, so I said it's two months, you have to let it season for two months, and then it's still flexible, but you only have, let's say, a month or so to walk with it then, or then it will entirely dry out. And then when it dries out entirely, it becomes brittle, so you can't walk with it, but you just simply soak it in water for about a week, and that makes it pliable again. Very good. And do you have a, lo- a store that you pr- you sell these products? Are you do you have a website or anything like that? Uh, well, I am on Facebook on Newgrange Willow Design, and I have a small web page as well. I will have a website in time to come. But mostly during the summer, I do a show or a festival each weekend. I would have a show to go to, so that's where most of my customers and my business come from. I give out cards the whole time, so. I sell stuff at shows, but I notice I get a lot of calls from the cards. So mostly it's just I deal with the public. But as I said, Facebook is sticking off for me a little bit. It seems to be a good way to sell product too. No well, thank you very much for talking to us. These are absolutely beautiful looking things. Actually, could you just explain to us a few of these um, different different things that you have, different baskets and so on. What are they all? Right, well, I have a couple of baskets here. Let's say one of the heavy-duty strong baskets would be a log basket used for holding turf or sticks or whatever. They're very strong. They're made, made using a very strong willow and they're a common basket. I've got some other stuff. I've got like semi-small shoppers or just smaller baskets and I've got a bowl-shaped basket. I've got three types of three types of shoppers. You nearly have to see them. Uh, one is a curved shopper and a flat one and then a veg display. And then I've got a structure behind me that's uh, made from willow too. It's a very primitive form of building. It's like a wattle structure. Uh, and I'm just I think I may have seen it up at the Hill of Tara. Could I have? Um, not just no. I had a few in Ishna and uh, for the flame it's slain. Were you thinking of the flame it's slain? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry. That's right. And that's, a, that's a primitive form of building and that's what I want to develop as well as basket making. And how long will one of these things last? Well, if they're looked after, I'd be hoping to last anything between 10 to 50 years. If they're looked after, I'd hope. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.